Very glad you could join us on the Weather Network. It is Friday, September the 18th, and we're gearing up for the final weekend of the summer. And if you have clear skies this weekend, then uh, you've tuned at just the right time because our very own uh, night sky guy, Andrew Fizikas, is on the phone, and he's going to let us know what we can see in the skies this weekend, of course, weather permitting. Andrew, how are you tonight? Hi, Chris. Nice to talk to you. Yeah, it's been a while, but, uh, you know, the door's always open for you, Andrew. Um, <laughs> let's see. So what, uh, let's see, assuming we've clear skies, what can we expect to see in the skies this, uh, well, let's say tonight or this weekend, anyhow? Well, definitely, right off the bat, I just want to quickly mention that uh, the International Space Station is clearly visible uh, in the evening skies. It's making, actually, you could, if you're lucky and you have clear skies, you can see it twice in one night. And so over the course of the next uh, week, in fact, any clear night, you should be able to see a point of light traveling across the overhead skies in your backyard. Uh, just with the naked eye, it's what looks like a very bright star traveling across the sky. If you not want to know when and where to see it in the sky, uh, I, I recommend people visit my website, www.thenightskyguy.com, and you can get your, your forecasts for when to see the space station. So that's something that's really cool, but also that's really neat that's happening. If, if you can get up early morning uh, over the course of the next few uh, mornings and on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, you'll get to see a beautiful sight, a double stellar treat. Uh, planet Venus is v clearly visible if you look towards the east at dawn. And you'll notice that it's closing in over the next few days onto another bright star called Regulus. It's a little bit fainter than Venus. And the pair is going to make a spectacularly close pass uh, on Sunday morning. And you can see here a binocular view of what it would look like through binoculars. They'll only be separated by uh, the, the, a space that's equal to one full moon disk. So that's quite, quite, a, quite a beautiful sight. And this is happening in the constellation uh, Leo, the lion. And uh, it's just a gr grand sight, and that follows off into Monday, uh, and uh, where Venus continues its trek towards the horizon. So it's a beautiful sight. Any cl any of the next three mornings is a beautiful time to see this. Okay, Andrew, how how early are we talking here? This is a, at at dawn. So basically, uh, I would say about a half hour before sunrise. If okay. you can peek out your window, you don't even need a telescope or not. If nice. you just look out your window, you'll see this beautiful pairing of two stars. It's, it's quite a beautiful sight. See, that's what I like, Andrew. I like low-maintenance stargazing. <laughs> don't want to have to do a whole lot. Uh, all right. Uh, in space news, very interesting. I was hearing about this in the news uh, earlier this week about, uh, they said, an Earth-like planet being discovered. Can you uh, divulge us a little bit on that? Yeah, well, you know, this is not a, probably a travel destination <laughs> just yet that we would want to go to, but it's, we're coming closer and closer every few months in finding the, uh, a planet that's the twin of the Earth. And this is the closest we've come yet. It's not quite there, but it's pretty in enticing. It was found by a, a space telescope called Corot uh, just a few months ago, and it's a, it's a star that sits uh, 500 light years away from Earth, uh, it's visible in the early morning skies, this star, uh, in, in, uh, from here, uh, uh, from Canada. Uh, but it's a really amazing sight because it's something that is only two and a half million kilometers away, this planet. And it's uh, about 80% bigger than the Earth, which is still very small. It's much, much more smaller than, than uh, the gas giant planets that we've been finding. The only thing is, is that it's sitting very close, orbiting very close to its parent star, so much so that on the day face of this planet, they think it's 2,000 degrees Celsius, and it's a minus 200 degrees on and the night side of this planet. So this is, uh, this is really sort of almost Dante's Inferno that we're talking about. You can see here an artist illustration mm -hmm. of what this planet is. And they think it's Earth-like because it has a rocky surface on it. So it's a, it's a place where it has a, a hard top to it as opposed to just a gas giant. So that's a, that's a completely new finding, and it's enticing astronomers to finding that holy grail of the twin Earth. And we're getting closer now. Well, we are, Andrew, and if it's only 2.5 million kilometers away, really, we're not talking about that many connecting flights. <laughs> All right, Andrew, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Can't wait to talk to you next weekend. Clear skies. All right, and for more information, you can visit Andrew's website at www.thenightskyguy.com. All right, stay tuned. Your local forecast is coming up.